everyone so today i finally have a much requested video from you guys and it's going to be on the dermacol foundation i have received so many requests for this foundation and seriously guys i love it when you guys want to see specific videos because then it gives me an idea of what to film this, this foundation has been so popular lately because it claims to cover like tattoos and things like that which i will test today but it does claim to be super like full coverage um, and it has it does say it's waterproof and it's hypoallergenic so hopefully I don't get no spots and it does say that it has SPF 30 which is a, a big thumbs up for me I did get this on eBay and I believe it was around seven pounds but they're different prices but it was really hard to find this color so I got the shade 222 the other shades above looked very pink and they were a bit darker so I wasn't too sure and this was the only yellow looking one I do have to say that they have a lot of pink colors I've already moisturized my face but the thing is like my skin is so dry my skin has been super dry especially around my mouth like I don't know what the hell's going on and my nose I just put a super heavy moisturizer on my face and it's like my skin has like already drunk it all up and it just feels really dry. I don't know if that's going to play a part in the foundation but I don't know. It does feel quite hydrated now. This is what the foundation looks like. It comes in a little tube. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Like it's smaller than my hand. I do think it's a bit light. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and try it on. That is going to be really light. When you blend it out, it's alright, but I'm definitely going to have to make this foundation work because it's definitely like really, really thick. I'm going to use this side with a beauty blender and that side with a brush. I'm already thinking I might put in way too much. It smells like it smells like sweets. It's really light. Don't know how I feel about this right now. It's actually like really hard to blend with a beauty blender. Like it feels like I have to like drag it and not press. I feel like I have to do it really hard. It's getting in my hair. I'll just remove that later. Can you see the color? thing is though I thought it would be a really good idea to use this as like a um a concealer so oh my god it's like cake I actually need to go out later I think once I put concealer and everything and bronzer I can probably make it work but if it looks really bad, I'm just going to have to take it off. Oh dear lord. This is very... I prefer the beauty lender. It's going very streaky with that brush. I'm just like overall like pressing it in the skin, just making sure. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what this looks like. Oh gosh.
I feel like I'm pink face. It looks yellow on camera, but I feel like I definitely look pink face. I don't like it with a brush. Like it literally felt like I was dragging paint, like hard paint across my face. But it's actually done a good job. I just like, can you see the difference with my skin and just like the foundation? But I have to give it to you. Like it's full coverage. It's covered all my pigmentation. Well, a bit, mostly all of it. I'm not mad at it right now, like right now, the only thing is the colour. I'm just going to go in with a bit of MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just going to do a bit of baking under the eyes. Set that concealer in place. I'm also going to put a bit of powder. I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium tan. Oh dear lord. Like, it definitely feels like I'm wearing a lot of makeup on. I'm sorry, but... It does definitely feel like that. I definitely feel like cake face. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but I feel like it. You know, it just feels like I'm just wearing a ton of makeup on right now. I'm gonna use the New Look Velvet Matte in Toffee Apple. Just gonna go in with a bit of bronzer. This is a uh, Top Shop. Salute. Hmm. Don't know how I'm feeling about this right now. Because, I don't know if it's because like it's waterproof, like the makeup is just sitting there. Like, everything is going so patchy. I'm gonna stop there. You know, on camera it looks all right. The color looks all right, but it's like already settling into my neck fluff. Because it's so, I don't even want to know what it's going to do to my smile lines. I mean, I think this is alright presentable. I mean, I don't know why it looks alright on camera, but trust me, it doesn't. It looks nasty. I mean, if you guys can find a good colour and you like, you really want extra full coverage, there's nothing wrong with that. You can definitely, I think you would love this. But because I don't necessarily like such a full coverage, like... I definitely feel like it's really heavy and my because I don't know it's waterproof or whatever like my products were going so weird on top to right now I feel like it's very like I'm not liking the foundation at all it's just too much for me I mean I can still wear it I'll wear it I'll wear it and see how it lasts for you guys who want to see how it does last throughout the day. I can already tell like how it's just like sitting in my necklines. I'm actually going to try some on my arm to see if it does cover a tattoo. So this is my tattoo that I got recently. I'm going to try and cover... I'm just going to try and cover like... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> on there. Didn't put too much. And I'm just blending with my finger. Don't even need that much. Because it's a lighter colour, you can definitely like see that the colour is wrong. But, but that is like covering everything. And you just need to put a bit of powder. And even if you did try to colour correct, it'll still like take it all off. 
So if you have a tattoo that you regret or whatever and you just want to cover it for an event or something, this is definitely something to buy. Like that's just covered it so good. So that's just with a quick first layer and it's covered everything. So it does pass the tattoo covering test. Look at that, it's not even there anymore, that's so weird. I do think that it did really well covering a tattoo. Um, it definitely passed that test, but I don't think it's like nice for like all over the face. Unless you've got like problematic skin, you have pigmentation that you want to cover or like scars or... Even if you just love really full coverage makeup, then I think you'll really like this. And I think if you're more of like an oilier skin type, like a normal combination, you'll like this. It is attaching to my dry areas on my nose especially. It's now exactly like 12 o'clock. I'm gonna wear it all day and I'll come back later and I'll show you what it looks like then. Right, so it's now 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. I've had this foundation for only six hours and when I tell you like my feels, my face feels so disgusting. I'm probably over exaggerating a bit but like my face just feels nasty and I'm going to show you a close up on my face right now but I've never had a foundation that looks so disgusting on my face like oh I just basically I just need to show you and it's only been six hours I've had foundations that last eight hours and don't even do this one bit I've never had a foundation that look at my nose can you see how cakey this looks this just feel this just feels so gross to show you guys look at that cracking separation look at my nose that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I really want to get up close and really show you. That is... What's the point of wearing a foundation if it's going to make your skin look so nasty like that? Look at that. And it's also like made my concealer like... Crease. I've never had creasing like that in my concealer. Do I like the foundation? No. Do I think it's really good at covering tattoos? Yes. Is it long wearing? Not in my opinion. Well, everywhere else it hasn't budged one bit, like on my cheeks, but it, nevertheless it still feels dry. The products weren't applying really well on top of it. I don't know, like, there's nothing good that I like about it. Apart from the fact that I do like how it covers a tattoo, but I don't really need that. And I thought I could use this under my eyes, but my concealer's creased more than it usually does and I don't know if that's because it mixed with the foundation. When you look at it like that, it looks alright, but when you go up close, my skin looks like, when I look at it right now, it looks so nasty and cracked up and I look like I'm 50. And it's not even that, like, my skin doesn't feel good. I feel like my, f I need to proper, like, I need to cleanse my skin five times because I just feel like all my pores are clogged up and it's going every into my skin. It's just so heavy. Would I recommend this? Not really, because unless if you want that super full coverage and you want to really cover like any concerns that you have, but I would only recommend it for like combination skin or oily skin because for dry skin it's not the best thing. What would I rate this foundation? I'll probably rate it like a 2 out of 10. Giving me one point for the coverage and then another point for the price and the affordability of it but then everything else is just really bad. I mean it might work for some people, for, for me personally I do really like it and I think there are better foundations even like in the drugstore that will give you not in that much coverage but enough coverage to give you like flawless skin and also not like make your skin look like the Sahara Desert and crack up like it does and make and it doesn't like oh there's other foundations that, that don't feel so heavy as well the colour did oxidise like I feel like it has oxidised and it has adapted to my skin tone so the colour is okay it doesn't look light and I did I think I got a good colour so if you do want to try it out this would be the colour I would get because it has worked for my skin tone it hasn't given me that much smile lines but everywhere else like where I never knew I had lines like over here it's just <sighs> it's 
not nice and my nose looks so it's and my nose is the worst it's even crease when like i go like that it's crease and nose bits as well okay so i obviously did not like this foundation but i hope you guys enjoyed this video nevertheless and found it helpful if you have any questions about the foundation let me know in the comments below and yeah also suggest other foundations you'd like me to try out i also have the ordinary one coming out soon and i still have to try the primark one which i think will be a bit dark but i'll try it anyways make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye